Hey y'all, just some kayak catfish. I'm coming back at you with another catfishing video today. And today is a video where I'm not on the Tennessee River. I'm actually on the Clinch River today. I'm a few miles upstream from where it dumps into the Tennessee. It's football season here in Tennessee right now. And on the weekends, on UT home games, we have what's called the Vol Navy. And it's the people with these huge houseboats. They'll travel up the Tennessee River and they'll park outside of Neyland Stadium and watch the game out there. That makes for pretty tough kayak fishing conditions on the weekends. It's a Friday when I'm filming this, so typically on Fridays and Saturday mornings, those Vol Navy people with the huge houseboats, they'll travel upstream there uh, to the stadium, and then depending on what time the game is, they'll either start coming back down Saturday afternoon, and pretty much all day on Sunday, you'll deal with them going back downstream. And like I said, these are just huge houseboats. They put off a monster wake creates tough fishing conditions and really just some dangerous conditions being in the kayak. So Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays on UT home games, I don't fish the Tennessee because of that. So I'm like I said, I'm out here on the Clinch River today, just a few miles up from where it dumps in to the Tennessee. And I'm going to be fishing the same way that you see me fishing in the videos where I'm on the Tennessee River. My approach doesn't change. My technique doesn't change. I'm still going to be doing the same things, but I'm going to hit this main channel ledge. I'll be suspend fishing don't have any current out here today so i'm going to be trolling but uh, i'll have my bait suspended two to three feet off the bottom and we'll just work this main channel edge down through here now for bait today i've got some white bass i actually went out a couple days ago i got what i thought was enough white bass for two days of catfishing but as you've seen in my last catfishing video which i filmed yesterday i caught a lot of fish caught several fish and i went through more of that bait than what i had anticipated i know good problem to have right but today, since I don't have much bait, it may be a short trip today, just depending on how active the fish are. I'll either fish till I get tired, or I'll fish till I run out of the bait, whichever comes first. So we'll just have to wait and see. But like I said, I'm going to be suspend fishing. I'll have my pieces of white bass suspended two or three feet off the bottom. We'll work our way down through here, see what we can find. I think he's on there. Maybe just a little one if he is. But we're getting a skunk out anyway. All right, fish number one, and he didn't steal my bait. Bonus. See you, buddy. Fish on. Alright guys, there we go. Not too bad. Sorry, that sun is right above the camera. I'm staring right into it. Not bad though. He put a good bend in the rod anyway. Let's let him go. Get my sun <laughs> fish on the graph here guys. See what I'm gonna do. I'll set him there a second and we'll show you what's on the screen. Oh this rod right here is going down too. Look at that. I think you let it go. Let me show you what we're looking at here. I think this one this rod right here is getting hit too. We got rods going down everywhere but here's why. So you see right here and there's a glare on the screen I know you got all these fish right here. Here's where I'm at. I was following this brake line here. But right here you can see this point comes out and there's kind of a, a choke point right here for this main channel edge and this point comes together. Any fish that's coming up along each one of these ledges here and it's kind of following that contour, they're going to come together right here. There goes that rod. I'm going to reel these fish in. we got rods going down everywhere. Kind of a dud out here this so far this morning, but we finally finally getting a little action right here. A little fella there. We'll set him back and we'll land this first one. Alright, that's not too bad. He's a he's a chunky dink anyway, ain't he? He uh put a good bend in the rod, man, ate that white bass head. 
I still got this other one over here on this rod. We're going to have to land here in a second. Let's let him go. We'll land his partner over here. All right, there's that one. There goes that rod. There goes it. It's a trip alone. <laughs> like I said, y'all, I, I hopefully it showed up on that other camera there while I was filming my graphics. It's kind of a choke point here. And any fish that's working up either side of this channel, they're going to come together right here where I'm at. So places like that, if you find it on the graph, they're often a good time, a good place to catch the fish. Places like that are good anchoring spots too. I'm trolling out here today, but places like that you anchor down on, like I said, any fish that move through, they're going to come through that area. All right, there's fish number three of three. Let's let him go. I'm going to get baited up and get them back down there. I'm going to check that rod too. The fact that we didn't get a quadruple during that little stretch makes me think that maybe that bait's been ripped off the hook. I'll have to check it and see. It's my last big white bass head. I've got to make this one count. Let's run it. Just like that. Through the bottom lip, up through the nose there. Got that on the knocker rig. Just my sinker right there above the hook with uh, just a couple beads there just to give that just a little bit more space there between the sinker and the hook. That's a little something I picked up from Hike Wade Paddle. Uh, Philip there has got that channel, YouTube channel, and he'd been using the knocker rig. And, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why I like sharing what I do with you all via YouTube because you all will take what I do and put your own thought process behind it and come up with little ideas, little tricks to, to make it better, make it your own. And so that was one of the things I picked up from him. And he started using that, added those beads, and I thought, you know, that's a pretty good idea just to give yourself a little bit more space. You still got your sinker down there right above your bait. So on days where the wind's really kicking and you're getting that sway in your line, it helps keep your bait down there directly under you where you want, but you've still got a little bit more space between the sinker and the hook. So. You know, just something new, just something I've been trying out. And, uh, you know, just a little tip I picked up from him. So, good stuff, man. All right, guys, I just reeled up my baits. We're going to make a little detour here. Like I mentioned today, I don't have a lot of bait with me, and I'm almost out. There is a fish I see over here that's kind of belly up and, and flopping a little bit. He's struggling. I'm going to go over here and see what it is. If it's a striper or a carp, it's going to be bait. Let's go get it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, heck. Well, it is a striper, but I don't think he's as alive as what I thought he was. He is decomposed. Well, heck with that. I guess my eyes were playing tricks on me or something. I would have swore I seen that thing's tail flopping up. I thought he was just struggling over here, just belly up, you know. Must have been the waves bouncing or something. I feel dumb. Let's get back over and get back to catfishing then. There's a fish. There's one. That's yeah, pulling right there now, ain't it? He's mad at it. <laughs> he is mad at it. I've had nothing but dinks here pecking at my baits for, I don't know, the last 30 minutes to an hour. That's how it goes on the days where you're really low on bait. Them dinks are just going to get down there and shred what you got. So here's pulling though. I don't know how big this fish is. I don't, I don't think he's no golly whopper. But he's definitely the biggest, biggest we've hooked this morning. See a lot of bubbles coming up. Yeah, that's a good fish right there, guys. That's a good fish. Oh goodness, <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> Probably got that camera soaking wet. <laughs> got me soaking wet, I know that. No calls in it. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -oh. You're coming up in here. Oh, yeah, and right there. Is an ornery thing this morning, lady. He is ornery. All right, guys, let's hold him up there and take a look at him. 
Not a bad fish, man. Not a bad fish at all. This one's been caught before. I can see his eyes messed up over here where somebody had hooked him before. <laughs> he put up a dang good fight, didn't he? Dang good fight. All right. Well, I'm going to do what I do on all these fish. I'm going to let him go, and hopefully he'll turn into a 50, 60, 80 pounder someday. That's how you grow the big ones. Got to let the small ones go. See you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I think he's hooked up on there. What do you think? I believe he is. Got my bait back. Heck yeah, man. There he is. It's a little dink. A mark on his tail there. Getting into something. Let him go. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to get out of here. I apologize for the noise on the camera. They're doing some construction work over here to my right and it's just uh, it's loud right now so it's probably interfering with this. But Anyway, I'm, I'm out of bait other than what's on my rods right here. and. Yeah, using white bass, it's not a real oily bait. It's not a real bloody bait, so it typically bleeds out pretty quick. And the bait that's on my rods has been on here over an hour now, and I'm not even getting pecks from dinks at this point. So I think it's done. So I guess it's time for me to go. I knew it was going to be a short trip today, but I did want to get out here and try to catch a few fish, and thankfully I did. I got a few fish, and I got that one blue that was pretty good blue. You know, he put up a heck of a fight, so thankful for that. But Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something from it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching.